actually starting to be used today, in fact. So we, the FDA was incredible. We submitted our emergency use authorization literally late in the day on Saturday. Our team was going back and forth. And uh, on Monday, just yesterday, they cleared it. We'd had a couple uh, products already in what's known as research use only. But today we started shipping actual uh, live product. Where can people take these tests and how do they pay for them? Sure. It's, uh, they're frankly going to a lot of our existing customers. We're obviously in the very early stages of our rollout, so we don't want to say which exactly customers, but uh, customers across the country and frankly like around the world will be starting to use these. Yes, mostly hospitals as well as some of the research, you, the, the, basically the reference labs. So the Quest, the lab cores, the ARUPS, the BRLs, those sure. can also use it as well. But one of the great parts about the footprint of our Panther machine, which is what it got cleared in, it's actually in a lot of hospital systems because it's a fairly small machine that has very high throughput, a great workflow automation. So we are literally supplying our customers as we can do it you know, as fast as possible, as are other, other companies as well. It will, what, what is your capacity? How many tests can you do a day? And, and how can you ensure that you have the materials that you need? Because there have been already some reports that some of the materials for some of these test kits are not available. It is a great question. What we've been very careful is to try to be honest and manage the expectations. We think we can produce about 600,000 tests in the month of April. So we're ramping up right now, right that. We've been very clear with our customers to allow them to start to bring these on. Each one of our Panther Fusion tests can actually mm -hmm. run about 1,100 tests in a 24-hour period. So it's about a three-hour turnaround time for the data, uh, and we can run multiple cycles per day. So each Panther Fusion able to produce quite a bit, but it's really we're limited as much as we ramp up our capacity. It's about a 12-fold increase in what we've been producing for, say, example, the flu virus. So we're ramping up to have all the materials. And believe it or not, one of the rate limiting steps in our particular yeah. supply chain is the plastic cartridges that we put all of the, uh, all of the, the devices in. So we've so been working even to get Steve those accelerated. Steve, I know the name of the game here is speed, and we need to get with an assay. It's incredibly high, both sensitivity and specificity, which means very low on false positives, also very low on false negatives. And as you well know, you know, the, the biggest problem in an outbreak like this would be where you're getting false negatives, where somebody thinks they don't have it. They're sent home out. The, the precision of our test, because it is all automated is very different than a lot of the original tests, which were really being done more manually.